Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from Iran Math Olympiad from 1995. In this problem, we have 1 factorial plus, 2 factorial plus, 3 factorial up to, n factorial is going to be a perfect square number. We are looking to find the value that we have for n. And obviously, we want to find n as a natural number here. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve this problem, let's start with seeing what we have here. We have 1 factorial, which is 1, and then we have 2 factorial, which is 2. For 3 factorial, we have 3 times 2, which is 6, and then we have 4 factorial, which is going to be 6 times 4, or 24. For 5 factorial, we are going to have 5 times 24 or 120 and then let's use another one here which is 6 factorial which is 6 times 120 or 720. The reason that we are looking at these is we want to find the pattern here. To find the pattern let's review what we have for 5 factorial again. For 5 factorial, we have 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. Here, you are seeing 5 times 2, which is 10. And for 6 factorial, you are going to see that again. And obviously, for 7 factorial, and anything up, we are going to see the same pattern, which is 5 times 2, again and again and again. What does that mean for us? Remember, 5 factorial is 1 to any, with 0 on its rightmost digit. The reason that we have 0 as its rightmost digit is because we have 5 times 2. With that, now let's review the problem again. We have 1 factorial, which is 1, and then we have 1 factorial plus 2 factorial, which is 3, and then we have 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial which is 3 plus 6 or 9. And then we will have 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial. Here we need to add 24 to 9 and then we will end up with 33. If we stop here, you can see that 1 factorial is a perfect square. 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial is also a perfect square number. But we don't have that for n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. What about n is equal to 5 and anything that is greater than 5? Remember, we reached to the point that we saw 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial is equal to 33. And also remember, for 5 factorial, we find that the rightmost digit is going to be 0. So, if you add everything, you are going to end up with 33 plus 0, or you can say that the rightmost digit of this number is going to be 3. And interestingly, for n is equal to 6 or adding all these values up to 6 factorial you are going to see the same value for the rightmost digit so basically if you add 6 factorial you are not going to see any change in the rightmost digit if you add 7 factorial you are not going to see anything changed for the rightmost digit and anything greater than 5 factorial in general. Now let's remember what we have for a perfect square. 
we can see that in base 10, which is the case here, a square number can end only with digits 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. And 3 is not here, as you can see. Make sure that you check this Wikipedia page when you have time. But for now, we are not going to have any value with the rightmost digit as 3 and then the value will be a square number. Since adding more values is not going to change the rightmost digit of the number that we are having here and it's going to be 3 after all so we are going to say that for any value of n greater than or equal to 5 we are not going to find any answer here and n equal to 1 and 3 are the only two answers that we can find for this problem thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles and mass involved activities please subscribe to the channel this is the SQRT channel